So what made you um, choose this film, this script? So this is a process of, a lot, like we stated before, it's a lot of moving parts in, in production. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, after I did Red All Over, uh, my, my prior film, um, I went to this press truck in Atlanta and this, uh, you know, young people come to you all the time, want to ask how to get in business and stuff like that. So this young guy came to me like he wanted to know. And usually I have like general response I give to people. But I was telling them that you have something that's very powerful that I do not have growing up. You have Google. If you ask Google the right question, you get the right answer. And he yeah. paused and he looked at me and he said, you know what, John? I don't even know what the right question is. Mm -hmm. So I didn't start thinking that a lot of young people, particularly filmmakers of color, who are in different parts of the country, doing lots of great music videos and some local commercials and things of that sort, but they really don't understand the business of how to move to the next level. So they get kind of kind of stuck in that particular part because they don't know what to do. And so I realized after a period, you know, over my career is that I realized two things. One, I can't direct every film or television show, but I can produce multiple things at one time. Mm -hmm. So when I was growing up and I was coming through this business, I didn't have any kind of mentors that I can kind of lean on. I have people can ask questions like that, but nobody really kind of say, hey, don't do this, don't do that. Right. So I thought it was a good idea for me to try to look for young guys who had the potential to really kind of, you know, go to the next level, but he just needed a little push or some insight. So I started to look for uh, the distributors that were willing to take that with me. A lot of people I talked to, they wanted me to work on something, they wanted me to direct it. They didn't want me to give opportunity to somebody else just because, you know, you're taking a chance. You don't know what you're getting. And I found one that said yes. Uh, they had an idea that they wanted to do a movie about uh, kind of Foxy Brown type thing, kind of like black exploitation type thing. I didn't necessarily want to do a black exploitation type thing, but I wanted to try to find a middle ground between what they wanted, something current, and something I can live with as being a black filmmaker. You know, and so we came up with the idea of uh, Ebony Hustle. So it just mm -hmm. came out of a, a natural fruition between talks with the distributor and their people on that team, and then my two writing partners, uh, Nia Cachet and uh, Frank Overton the whole character of Ebony Hustle uh, came to be.